punish the hubris. Hey, thanks for all the subscriptions today. If you are one of them, if you're not one of them, fuck you. No, I'm just kidding. I love you deeply. <laughs> just hanging out. Chat. Ben Shapiro has decided yet again to open his tiny little mouth and say words. And this one's called Legacy Media. Twist the narrative. I wonder what this could be about. Well, the narrative was fully formed. Fully formed. As soon, literally the moment that there was a shooting at a gay nightclub in Colorado Springs, Colorado. The entire... Oh, my fucking God. All right. Well, I haven't done any of the Colorado Springs I stuff because I feel like it's down or shit. Mr. Whiskers, thanks for going to Simzoid. You guys get attacked every day, and I feel like introducing it to you all the time is shitty um, to my financial chagrin. But appreciate that sub. Made up for it. Speed it up. We wouldn't even be able to hear him. Uh, but, I mean, like, obviously, we're going to talk about it. Higher legacy media infrastructure every major democrat in america decided this was the fault of libs of tiktok and tucker carlson and matt walsh yes Chris rufo yes and me yes oh name them that's perfect get a nice short list put that name put that list of names in your head okay it's a great list to have and any other american who did not like drag queen story hour or who was not in favor of same-sex marriage what not in favor of same-sex marriage. These are the real victims of the shooting of the gay club. Yeah. Yeah. Or who believe that transing the children is a bad thing. Transing it was all them. our fault. Transing it was our fault. Them. It was your fault. If you believe that there's anything wrong with, with any of those things, then it is your fault if a deranged individual goes to a gay nightclub and shoots a bunch of people. Now, the narrative was crap from the beginning. It's crap because unless you are inciting violence, actively calling for people to do violence to other human beings, you are not responsible for the violence that they do. You call them demons. <laughs> like, what do you think? What? When you have a bunch of religious nationalist fascists foaming at the mouth about this shit every day, and you've only been, you've been essentially a one topic guy. For like a year. The Daily Wire has essentially been about the trans stuff for a year, minimum. Matt Walsh mostly. They all been doing this shit. Essentially this one topic. <clears throat> they call they call you demon. I mean they call me demon. I'm not because I support you, right? I mean I'm I'm like a platonic idea of what these guys want. I have a submissive and breedable woman in my home. <laughs> but they don't seem they're not very pumped about it because I, I think that you guys should also be able to have one. And then and then she can have a dick too. And you can have a dick. Everybody gets dicks, chat. Or pussies. You can have whatever you want. This has been the rule in free speech for literally ever. Free and yet, speech the left has been the rule in free speech. You know what else is the rule in free speech, Ben? Calling for violence against you. That is within everybody else's free speech too then. Directly. That's what happens. Right? Now, I'm not doing it, of course. I would never do that. But that is the obvious response to this is going to be people calling for violence against you. You're literally begging for it. I think Ben Shapiro actually hopes that somebody like Tim Pool gets clipped. Because not only does he not like somebody like Tim Pool, but he would milk that shit for every political point he could get. Be like, look at these fucking savages. They actually are coming for you. Look at this innocent Tim. Never did nothing wrong in his life. And it just shows Tim's like, I don't know, whatever happens, he gets shot with the rainbow lasers or however the gays kill people. Fucking shot him with estrogen darts. His titties just grew and popped. And then he dies. Sad stuff. Ben would love it, though. Ben wants this to happen so bad, dude. And all of them think it won't be all won't be them, but it'll probably be one of them. You know what I mean? Each one of these guys thinks they're safe. None of them are. And they're going to milk it when it happens. When one of these guys gets clipped, it it's, he's, they're going to fucking be gross about it. Bet. They're going to be like, oh, my God. He's going to have a fucking huge funeral or something. They're going to do a fucking salute. <laughs> Guns and shit. <laughs> the bagpipes will come out. 
fucking it'd be like Tim Pool or Walsh. <laughs> no, man, if it's Walsh, they'll really go for it. The classic rainbow steamroller. That's the way to do it. Yeah, that's really the way to do it. Like, and it works just like the one in uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Just makes them it real flat. To do. I don't want to compare, but why do I feel like we are in a pre-segregation day when it comes to rights propaganda on trans people? Uh, it's not... I don't think you're pre-segregation. Uh, I think you're pre-integration. You know what I mean? It like, has to do. Like it's, it's pretty obvious that most of America is behind you. I don't know if you realize that. Maybe. But, like, normies normies are essentially like, I don't give a fuck what they do, dude. Sure. Maybe it's, I don't know, it's weird, but who, ah, fuck it. <laughs> Something like that. Uh. <laughs> Did you say something? Uh. <laughs> Can't say bad stuff in chat. Pre civil rights, uh, pre civil rights, yeah. It feels it feels like a little bit before. It feels like the '60s, yeah, but not like as dire, because the '60s were about a lot more. They established a lot more of the baseline that you're using right now. So a lot of the hard work is done, I think. But it's certainly not gonna. I mean, the capacity for violence quickly is the unique thing about the modern era of. Of this kind of stuff. Because, like, someone could just have a gun and go, like, blah, 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 eight people. You know what I mean? So that's, I guess, that's that's a little bit different. The state is the problem. Not really, like, the population, in my opinion. <coughs> yeah. I, you haven't seen You haven't seen the police, like, really hammer, like, a trans-specific group of people. In like broad daylight, like in the middle of a rally or something, and that did happen in the '60s against against uh, civil rights people. So, um, yeah, I hope it doesn't rise to that level. I don't. I don't really think it will. I, I think the people in general, again, would be like you know, like the George Floyd stuff. Like, it's really hard to commit broad violence against those people and make it. <laughs> you know. Anyway, more Ben jumped out in front of the story before they even bothered to wait for any facts at all and said that essentially the uptick in sentiment against the trans... Is this today? Are they going to do one day ago? Are they going to do the non-binary thing? ...of the children was responsible for a mass shooting at a gay nightclub because this is the game that they always play. It doesn't matter Both of whether the, the person was deranged. It doesn't matter the if the person had a long history of red flags that were ignored by police. Now it's a mental health thing, dog. doesn't matter if the police failed a cab it doesn't matter if mental health health care should is a right like all of these things are prevented in leftist culture all of them every single time we have answers to this hey simply stop commodifying this the police don't operate in a way that is is good for freedom <laughs> like this is this is not and, and, and now he's pro gun regulation and red flag red red flag laws so he's pro it right now, but when I call for more stringent access to guns based on people's mental health screenings and their and they're like, you know, fucking background checks, then you're against it. So really it's just stay the course. You don't really have a fucking opinion. Absolutely politicize the death of Ben Shapiro when it happens, okay? Politicize his death. It doesn't matter. Whether the square peg fits in the round hole or not. Well, I guess the we'll narrative see. is always and forever. My political opponents are responsible for murder. This square peg round hole. Who's the square peg in the round hole? It's definitely religion and conservatism into culture in America. That's the square peg that they keep trying to cram. What do you mean? The rest of us are just like, do whatever the fuck you want. And he's like, no, 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 no. We have to yeah, faith based. Dum dum, bro. Therefore, there must be a censorship regime. That was the narrative. Now, all they had to do is wait for the facts. And it's important to remember this. This shooting did not. Uh, it's always those two things. True. Dread Pirate Robots. Thank you so much for giving one to Liar Judas. 
Paying forward the one you got from Rublum. Hell yeah. What happened all that long ago? The shooting happened just days ago. All the members of the media had to do was wait for the facts, which is, in fact, their job. Now, we, I understand we have a media infrastructure that rewards people who are first and wrong rather than rewarding people who wait and are right. That is just how our media infrastructure generally works now. If you jump on a story and it turns out that you're wrong 90% of the time, but 10% of the time you are right, we remember the 10% of the time that you're right, and we forget the 90% of the time you're wrong because you were first, and that's the really important thing. Ben bitching about commodification of n news and media. Not understanding that this causes an ethical issue when you rub capitalism against the thing. He just... He, <laughs> your corny emotes get many compliments, by the way, Jake. Hell yeah, Sarah's a very talented artist. And then also, uh, uh, Brooke did a couple of the... couple of them. The Wiggler and the Jiggler. And so there really is no disincentive for members of the media to create fully formed narratives completely... It has in coincidence. Dark base for the fitty bitties. Ben Shapiro died. On the bright side, his wife would get wet for the first time ever. Wow. Wowzer. From the tears, chat. With democratic priorities. And then to just run those out there. Because after all... Wet cheeks from the tears. If they're wrong, we'll just memory hole it. It's three months from now, nobody's going to remember that the media made a complete mockery of themselves. Nobody's going to remember that all the media had to do was wait for a few days. Now, what am I talking about here? What Dark I'm talking stuff. about here is the news this morning that the Colorado Club shooting suspect is non-binary according to his attorneys. Poof goes the narrative. It's gone. Watch how fast this story gets memory hold now. What? According to Axios.com, the public defenders for the suspect in the mass shooting at a Colorado Springs mm -hmm. LGBTQ nightclub said in a Tuesday night court filing obtained by mm -hmm. a New York Times reporter, their client is non-binary and uses they, them pronouns. And the mm -hmm. media are confused and bewildered and puzzled because after all... Yeah, so this is what they're going to do. They're going to use... They're going to try to do this thing where they're like, oh, well, now you have to validate the pronouns of this monster. And now, and now, don't you see? Now, I'm sus of this, obviously, because of the upbringing of this person and all of the things they put out into the world. Uh, Devin, thanks you went to J.D. Delphin. But also, yeah, okay, then they have they, them pronouns. I have no problem with that. They still suck. They're still homophobic. It means nothing. Like... It means nothing. Being non-binary does not mean that you are suddenly not a fucking right-wing lunatic. I, <laughs> I am. I am sussy of the f veracity of that. But if if they would wish to be called by they them pronouns, then they are. go for it. <laughs> non-binary people can only care about garlic bread and invading the Netherlands. That's true. Not just Blair White, fucking. Like, Jessica Yaniv is a great example of somebody that you properly gender, she, her, that sucks, that is a fucking bad person. And then this is one person that they always use to be like, oh, look, see, uh, predators. And it's like, no, she can suck, dude. This is the thing with being a minority class. This is always what happens. You have to be exceptional all the time. And then people will, of course, use your minority class as a cudgel against you and take they'll, they'll appropriate your fucking you know titles and nomenclature to try to uh do things and then and then destabilize the validity of of your shit so someone shoots up a gay nightclub calls themselves they them and suddenly which is the easiest thing that they could possibly do to <laughs> throw the narrative in the way that their clear right wing bias their family all talk like every piece of information you put out into the world has been like a piece of hateful dog shit. You turn out to be a hateful piece of dog shit. You get bashed by a bunch of gays at the bar after you commit horrible violence on them. You get fucking beat up. Yeah. Stupid. Bro. This throws a wrench into all of their greatest hopes and desires regarding. Yeah, it's trans bathroom shit. If you, yeah, if you're if you're a minority person and you're and you somehow step out of line, well, you're an example for the rest of your race, religion, ethnicity, you know, sexuality, gender, etc. White men, not a problem. Every time a white man does something, it's not systemic to being a white man. Every time anybody else does, it is though. Pretty odd stuff. Starting the narrative. White men just do a lot of stuff, you know? From the very beginning, it was perfectly obvious this person was deranged. 
How did we know this person was deranged? Not just because they committed a mass shooting, which is deranged activity, but also because we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they blamed it on self-hate for the pulse shooter. Like, oh, not he, he was just... Oh, he was self loathing ...knew within hours that this person had been arrested last year for threatening his mother with a gun and threatening to blow her up with a homemade bomb before the police arrested him and then didn't take away his guns. So that would be cr pretty good evidence of, of being a deranged, violent individual who should... Didn't take away his guns. Hmm. For gun regulation, Ben Shapiro. We'll see if, with the, if the tune changes next time. ...been on the police radar, should, should it not? Like, these people aren't consistent, But we were told bro. that didn't matter. There were full op-eds in the New York Times saying this was not about mental illness. This was not about deranged violence. This is about nothing except for the broad spectrum narrative that the right is evil and must be silenced. And we need to shut it down, shut it all down. We need to, we need to stop Elon Musk from opening up Twitter to evil, nefarious folk who disagree with us. It's not about disagreement, dude. You literally are hateful. Like, and people just want you to shut the fuck up by any means necessary, Ben. They want you to shut the fuck up, including shutting down Twitter. The absolute nuclear option. Nothing for, further than that. They want you to shut the fuck up because, like, people are just trying to live their lives and you're trying to impress upon other people that inherently by being somebody who is attracted to men, a gay guy is evil in some way or nefarious or an abuser just by the nature of his of his existence and that's just obviously untrue ben and so it's like <laughs> no one wants to fuck with you anymore ben <laughs> you just have a bunch of little little freaks with little swastikas on their hearts running around doing daily wire shit i just <sighs> I am surprised at the restraint of the American left, chat. I am surprised. We need to make sure that everyone we disagree with on YouTube gets demonetized. We have to make sure that the language of the right is never heard again. Because that's the only way to assure that gay people don't just get randomly shot at a nightclub. That was the narrative. And they randomly shot? Ran with it. And boy, did they run with it. It has been nonstop blanket narrative coverage since the shooting. And now it turns out that the suspect is saying that he is non-binary. And this puts the media in a huge pickle. It puts the media in a pickle for a couple reasons. One, it turns out the narrative is not quite as simple as they thought it was. Two, they now cannot claim that this person is mentally ill or deranged because after all, they've Why not? created a system in which you declaring that you are a non-binary human, what? a thing that does not exist. We are all members of biological sexes. Oh my God. <laughs> biological sex. Uh, I know he's been corrected a million times about this, and and he won't ever listen that gender is different or whatever. Like, you got you guys know the difference. It doesn't matter. Uh, this is it is strange to me that Ben thinks that the left, us, I guess, can't say that you can be trans and mentally ill. He must not talk a lot to lefties because y'all are like. Look, here's all my mental illnesses. They're listed in your fucking bios sometimes, dude. Like, what? What? This person seems to be fucked up beyond belief. It is just some simply not because they are trans that they're fucked up or have mental illness. It is <laughs> usually being trans and then being di like fucking treated shitty by the world is what causes the mental illness not being trans it's the other part it's the interaction with y'all <laughs> no wonder no wonder they <laughs> so many people <laughs> what do they think fucking depression and shit comes from what do they think abuse is God, if these people could think for two seconds they they should all they should all take shrooms dude they should all take shrooms and go through one guided therapy and just come out the other side and see what happens i feel like if we gave shrooms to every person i don't care what age it is whatever age you think is good the earlier the better if i can give their give their moms shrooms while the kids are in the womb i don't know if that'll help <laughs> don't do that that's not guaranteed to work
But I, I genuinely think like somewhere around what we deem adult adulthood, whether it's 18, 21, somewhere in there, uh, with guided therapy, I think it really truly would help people uh, open their fucking brains up a little bit. Have you seen the shooter's dad? No way that he's in B. It's a fucking ploy. I mean, I agree with you. Yeah. I agree. That seems like the most obvious answer to that. Yeah. That you declaring that you are non-binary actually makes you more sane. That in some ways, you saying that you are non-binary, what that is, that is the true you. You're not allowed to doubt anything. That, what the shooter says now. I, this is not what's happening. People are like, yeah, sus. What do you mean? Everyone's like, nope, seems sus. Ben Shapiro has missed the mark on this. Again, they think there's some sort of purity over here. It's just not the case. Some people might be like that. But it's not It's not the reality that I've ever experienced with y'all. Now, must be taken as absolute verifiable truth. You have to take at face value this person saying that he is a they them. You must. Because after all, you must respect the pronouns. They've created this pathetic logical box for themselves. Now, for the rest of us who live in the normal world, this is always a very clear story. Deranged individual goes and does something evil. Boom, end of story. And then when the person goes to prison and suggests that he is a member of a they, them species that does not exist, you say- Species, what? <laughs> I don't understand about this. What is this species shit, bro? A species? Oh, well, Amazing. because this person- Obviously, is a deranged individual with mental illness. Like that, okay, all fits the narrative. But now the left is confused and they're bewildered and they're puzzled. And they don't know what to do. And so, some of the ways they've been reacting quite, quite fascinating. So Ben Collins, who's just the worst actor in all of this, he is the senior reporter at NBC News, who's blamed literally the entire right for everything that is. Yeah, they're just straight up lying, dude. I don't know if Ben's aware or not. I could see both a reality in which Ben Shapiro is a calculated weasel that knows he's lying about specifically this topic or a dumbass that's totally disconnected from any conversation that happens on the left. Absolutely. Both of them make sense to me. This happened right here. He, he's appeared on television basically saying that if you oppose Drag Queen Story Hour, which in fact is a wonder... Chat, I'm confused about why the viewer fluctuation. Are y'all refreshing a ton? Are we having, are we having like a... Like, like clarity issues here? Wonderful, wonderful thing. He said this on TV. That drag queen story hour is wonderful. It's where, like it's where little kids get to meet drag queens. Viewers. Why would that possibly be? Why would you oppose that? Why would that be a bad thing? Well, he was also on your TV yesterday, buffer, was Ben Collins, suggesting that the Nazis are coming. He gets stuck on the ad page? Oh, okay. That makes sense. That, that really what this is about, it's the evil people at Breitbart who are calling for death upon gay, lesbian, trans people. He can't provide any evidence that that's happening, but... You know, it's really, the Nazis are coming, guys. And you know, the Nazis, they really didn't like gender non-binary people. It was, it was, so So if you say... The Nazis... I mean, when, when we say the Nazis are coming, we mean they're already fucking here. I don't know if we, we go, oh, the Nazis are coming. It's more like, nah, dude, your neighbor's a Nazi. Like, some of them are fucking Nazis. Yeah, true. And some of them are gonna get... Look, this next summer coming up, I don't know, man. The winter's going to be a little cold, you know what I'm saying? Every summer, though, every summer there's potential. They're getting bolder. Yeah, but you haven't seen them do any Charlotte, Charlottesville stuff, you know what I mean? Like, they haven't gotten together and, and burnt the tiki torches in quite some time, and I think that's on purpose. I don't think they're that fucking bold. They, they 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 have to do it with tactical gear now. They have to do like proud boy shit. You haven't seen a bunch of dudes in polos with tiki torches in a while because I don't think that would end well at this point. I genuinely don't think it would end well. I wouldn't blame somebody one fucking bit. That would be that would be a brave move at this point. Plate carriers without plates because they're not illegally allowed to own any. You know what's f the funniest fucking thing about these dudes? Is that they're like, yeah, fuck the government. And then they comply with these stupid little laws. And then they have their phones on with their locations on. And they're texting and fucking like normal text. And they don't cover their faces. And they don't do any any of the things that you should do if you're like w 
worried about the state at large. You know what I mean? Like lefties all like in block and like they're covering their shit and they have, have their phones on and like they have like tourniquets and like med packs and we're in black and we move as a unit. Like you have anti riot shit going on. These guys are all LARPers, bro. If it came down to it, they'd be fucked. So, Ben Shapiro doing all this, like, because Ben Shapiro wants fucking blood. All these dudes, Tim Pool, Ben Shapiro, they want blood, dude, because the more blood, the more clicks. Look at this video probably, right? 62K views yesterday. This this is not a huge video for them, but, like, this narrative stuff is just going to keep going. They're just going to keep doing it. Every time there's shootings, every time this happens. That there is no such thing as a non-binary gender. If you say that boys are boys and girls are girls, basically you're a Nazi. And because you're a Nazi, people are shooting up gay nightclubs. This is Ben Collins yesterday. There is a, a, a long history of this. You know, I, I talked to uh, this, this woman named Jennifer Mercier, who's a rhetoric professor at Texas A&M. And uh, she was telling me about this thing called hate objects that come up in, you know, pre-fascist governments where they take people they describe as degenerates, yeah. right? And, and, you know, before Nazi Germany, it was, in fact, gay and gay people, people who played with, uh, you know, gender conformity. Uh, and they say they are contributing to the downfall of society. They yeah. are the reason this is actually that, true. you know, things cost more, that the crops aren't coming up, right? Um, we have been through this in the past. It's very dark. It is, though. Like, that's true. The difference is this time you have a population of people that are actually like awake to it and like you have allies. The last time those communities were very isolated away from normies, right? And normies would be like, oh yeah, oh, no, 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 I'm not one of them. Oh goodness, who's oh, me? You had very little solidarity between these things. We have a lot more solidarity now than we used to. We have the internet. Yeah. We have knowledge. It's so much different. We have, I mean, we have corporate power to some extent, as long as the libs are on board. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's big time different now. The fascists are trying the same plays, but uh, this is this is a situation where we could snuff them out pretty soon. Like this, this feels like the dying off of a generation. If we can stave off the boomer threat until their their dying breath. I mean, obviously Ben Shapiro is not a boomer, but like, it's his audience. Uh, COVID keeps going, keeps killing them because they're not going to stay inside, even though we tried to tell them. Uh -huh. They're not going to do masks. They're not going to do vaccines. They're just going to keep dying off, and the and it's the numbers are getting worse for them as it goes. Of course, winter's only going to be worse. You're going to have uh, all these events. You know, holidays are going to get bad. If we could stave these guys off, I mean, we're not far away from just like, like, if the culture war is real, we're going to win it. Because most people are on board. Now, the system itself is the fucking problem, so we have to make changes. So when we have this power, we have to make changes because this is when these kinds of people swing the hardest, man. I don't mean just elections. Elections are part of it. Every tool in the toolbox. You know what I mean? It's part of it. I wish the commies would come on board, please, just once. Just once. Just do one little, one democracy, and then we can go back to fighting each other. Just do a little democracy with us. And it's, even, it's not even good democracy, right? I know that's why you have a distaste for it, but just a little bit of it with us. It means nothing. It means nothing. What are you sullied by going in there and going to your local church and or basketball court and fucking coloring in some dots and walking away? It's not that glorious of a thing. There's not a lot of propaganda in there. Just go do it, please. Please. And then maybe we won't need you, but you can be you can be front line for the for the whole revolution thing if it happens, you know? That's the deal. Mine's inside of a federal courthouse. See, mine's mine's inside of a little church. I think we're enough of a block to matter. I disagree. It's not about being a block. It's about your community vote numbers. I don't care about I don't care about the the presidential vote as much, but since we break it down into districts, I care a lot about it. 
we're losing we're losing uh, little elections with real progressive people that are like really part of stuff by by 10 votes and i know there's 10 fucking commies 10 voshers 10 10 hassan piker tier threeers in the community dude anyway okay this pathetic person is it local votes but the local votes also matter because of the way we district for the electoral college so although it may feel hopeless in your state still having your community in there because a lot of people don't they ab they 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 abstain from votes because they're like oh my vote doesn't matter and then you know you're voting down ballot on just like a thousand people in your neighborhood on things that really really matter in your specific life please vote it's part of it it would be part of it in the commune chat <laughs> we would have to we would have to get people's opinions on stuff that's what votes are hey what's your opinion on should we build a park or a garden you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know. We could use more food, but I do like playing. I know you're agreeing, Mouse. I'm saying just in general. Really got to do it. It's good practice for the real thing. <laughs> Voting is communism. I agree. Chicks with dicks, any thoughts? I'm pro. Terrible reporter. And again, he spent just blanketed himself on TV talking about how the right was to blame for the shooting. It was Nazi Germany. It was Breitbart. It was Tucker Carlson. It was all of them. Well, this morning he issues a couple of updates on the Colorado Springs story. Oh, just a few updates. You know, it was last night. A few updates. The suspect is requesting to go by they them according to court docs provided to The New York Times. The Colorado suspect was 15 when they requested a name change. So first of all, I, I love that the entire media has to immediately shift mode and respect the pronouns of a mass murderer. Look, again, we're all sus about that, but like, uh, that's fine, Bobby. Try, uh, you know, let's say hypothetically, though, that you <laughs> you engaged in a way that wasn't cringe for like three seconds. Just try it. It would be dope. Because we're just we're just hanging out and you can have like a good time here, man. Develop develop a yeah, a touch of a personality, just a little one. <laughs> dicks, cocks. Dicks and cocks. On girls. Yeah, some of them have them. Yeah. Just weird stuff, man. There are those of us who are like, no, that's a dude. And you guys are like, no, 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 we gotta respect his pronouns. We gotta. We don't I mean you can. Here's the thing, though. Like, the the argument about the the respecting pronouns thing is simply that like someone's identity is not dictated by how much I respect them. That's the platonic ideal, right? That's like that's like the point of it. Is that your identity is independent of my respect for you? Because it's your identity. I don't get a say in it. Uh, YT Yasmin with 100 biddies. I fucking love this. The entire time these writers have been like, you have no respect for, the, you have to respect their pronouns. They're non-binary. And then the news says, okay, they're non-binary and still criminal. And then they're like, see, look at how they curtail to a murderer. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty weird shit. 14 inches deep in your mother. Hey, dude, if you want to fuck a vagina that's essentially an ashtray, you go ahead. I'm going to give you a little timeout. We'll see if you get a little, we'll see if you get use this next 10 minutes to reflect on your life at all i'm sure it won't won't take um but like you could just you just give it a shot man give give adulthood a shot imagine how much more you could fuck than zero if you had at all the maturity of a man that could provide emotionally for a partner i mean sure he just murdered five gay people and injured another 25 people but the important thing he's a they He's a they. He is a they. <laughs> okay, dude. Uh, I mean, I don't know how to look at my my unbanned request right now. This person's harassment by Edge Lords Online was thoroughly documented on the hate site Encyclopedia Dramatica, which outlined a harassment campaign repeatedly calling this person a pedophile. They accrued some of those posts and mocked the person's grandmother's GoFundMe to send the person to Japan. 
I'm studiously avoiding saying the name of the shooter because this is something we do on the show to prevent mass shootings, something no one in the media apparently will do. We on this show and over on our site, over at Daily Wire, we do not mention the names of mass shooters because it gives them exactly the sort of notoriety and glory they're looking for. No one in the mass legacy media will do this. No one. It's amazing. And then they'll blame us, obviously. How is this not giving coverage? And how is this not like approval? <laughs> not saying name is that. That's a weird way to lampshade your support of this kind of shit. Encyclopedia Dramatica, the hate site that compiled years of records of online bullying of the Colorado Spring suspect, updated the page when they realized that the shooter had an entry for years, adding that. This person, quote, shot up a gay bar because he was tired of all the harassment. Okay, so the narrative is now shifting from Ben Collins in real time. So now the shooter, he's sympathetic to. Now the shooter had a rough childhood. Everybody was bullying this non-binary person. And that's probably why. So as it turns out, according to Ben Collins, the right is to blame because this person was a disciple of the right with no evidence, by the way, none. I mean, the media tried to trot out not the relevant fact that this person was a psychologically disturbed human being with violent tendencies. They didn't care. Why were they psychologically disturbed, Ben? Well, I don't know. That just happens in a vacuum, I guess. Well, what about a small interview with the parents for two seconds? Did you guys see? Did you guys see the parents of this person? Maybe I can find them. Anyone have the parents? I'm I'm, I'm done with this part part of Ben. Uh. Parents of accused. No, that was the other one. This guy. Mm -hmm. We are learning more about the alleged gunman tonight, including the fact that oh, Anderson Aldrich up. is not his birth name. Aldrich's father tells CBS 8 his son was born in San Diego, and the name on his birth certificate is Nicholas Brink. Cool. Six months ago, Aaron Brink thought his son had committed suicide. I thought he was dead. I, was, I, I mourned his loss. He says his ex-wife had called him from Colorado in 2016 to tell him their son, Nicholas Brink, had changed his name to Anderson Aldrich and then killed himself. Do you have any idea why he changed his name? Yes. His mother told me he changed his name because I was on intervention and I had been a porno actor. You heard correctly. At the time, Brink was acting in Los Angeles <laughs> in porno movies. What is this fucking... You heard it here. He was acting in porno movies. What a weird... For six years, he thought his son was dead until Aldrich called him out of the blue last year and started arguing with him over the phone. He's pissed off. He's pissed off at me. He, don't, he wants to poke at the old man. Fast forward to two days ago, Brink got a call from his son's defense attorneys this gets dark. telling him Aldrich was involved in a shooting at an LGBTQ nightclub in Colorado Springs. Brink says he's a Mormon, and his first reaction was... Why was my son at a gay bar? Yeah, this is odd. This is odd shit. Mormons don't do gay. We don't do gay. There's no gays in the Mormon church. We don't do gay. We don't do gay in the Mormon church. We don't do it. I ran into Brink while he was unloading appliances at his home in Sherman Heights. When he learned more details of the deadly shooting, he was shocked. There's no excuse for going and killing people. If you're killing people, there's something wrong. It's just, it's, it's just not the answer. Brink said says his son was born here in San Diego at Sharp Mary Birch Hospital in 2000. He and his wife lived in Cardiff by the sea at the time, but they soon got divorced. Brink currently works as a mixed martial arts coach. Jesus he says he taught Christ. his son how to fight. I praised him for violent behavior really early. I said hey, that it works. It is in, it's instant and, it, and you'll get immediate results. But in the wake of the violence at Club Q, what a weird Brink guy, dude. is changing his tune. Life is just so uh, fragile and it is valuable. Those people's lives are valuable. You know, I, they're, they're valuable. They're good people, probably. You know, it's not, it's not like to go kill somebody over, you know, kill. Um, I'm sorry, you know, I let my son down. Uh, he says that stuff, which I guess is <laughs> better than you'd hope. The, uh, where's that other clip? Dude. Uh yeah, he his 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 brain is clearly like uh addled with uh his former his former use of the hard drugs. He's got some some 
some lightning in there. And that their skull 